Hey guys, Shalada here. So today we'll be boxing the Kick Prism uh, RGB mousepad. So it's the XL side, so it will cover your keyboard and the full mouse itself. Uh, let me show you. So uh, one thing like I do not like about this one because uh, this so this is sort of like a replacement one. But this is the second replacement I have received uh, from SteelSeries and they all have the same issue which is usually uh, one side of like a some usage will start to lose the light and that's usually on the right side on this side here the edge of the mousepad uh, let me just remove that So what usually happens is like the right side it's uh, so if you want it, it is a really nice looking uh mousepad itself rgb is nice um the diffusion is nice but what usually happens is after usage the right side tend like this side does get to start lose its um, light and even if like because the thing is the light is from the the hub itself is here so it diffuses through this sort of like this pipe and it goes through and it will always this your left side will always be a bit brighter compared to the right side that's one thing but um that's one um, the other thing is the uh because of the the, the quality is nice that's one thing uh, you won't feel um uh, any issues without even using like any other mouse pads so if you are into soft mouse pads you can use this one uh, i uh, prefer like a hard pad itself so i always use that and usually put this on the top um yeah so it's not like the thing is like even if there's a water drop or any dust it's easier to clean um and it, the quality that's one of the reasons i keep like buying it back because the quality itself is really nice and the thing is like uh, with some mouse pads it's like they're dust magnets you have to clean them regularly which is not the case with this one so like even if, after like um few months if you think it's getting dirty always like uh, wash it with the warm water but it don't like throw this in the like you know in the water itself you need to get like a warm cloth or something and like um like if you have any um like the sponge thing to clean the dishes right similarly get a new one use the soft side to scrub on the uh, the cloth itself don't do it on the rgb or don't do it on the the controller itself that you can cause like a short circuit because this is not sort of like waterproof right and you need to be like a bit careful what you're doing um, also make sure when you're using do not like fully bend it or break the uh, these tubes as well otherwise you will have a like cut and afterwards the, the, the light will not pass through on the other side um, so rest is like same it's from the seal so you can um, you know customize the rgb from the 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 software itself uh, yes uh, and it's quite like big as well so like i usually uh, like now i'm sort of like used to it now uh covering my keyboard and the mouse pad and feels nice you know if you're working long hours and you're just putting that so like it has like your hand has like a small uh, like a soft cushion yeah uh, that is it if you have any questions let me know Take care. Uh, I just saw like don't <laughs> ban it. I was almost about to ban it itself. Yeah. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Yeah. I just just wanted to add the bit of how it looks. So this is the uh, the mousepad itself. This is how it looks. Uh, you can customize if you have a steel series keyboard as well. So you can customize RGB with it. I haven't, haven't done it, so I've just added a bit. And yes, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care. Bye.